The Bible says anger is overwhelming and fury is a flood, but who can stand before jealousy? That scripture has always stuck to me ever since I first read it because I've come to basically learn the hard way myself that people can survive a torrent of all different kinds of things in this world. But when somebody envies you, just the lack of self-control that they walk in, in their desire to achieve some end goal in your life is just astronomical and unacceptable. In the female community, jealousy causes women to throw fellow women to some of the most violent men, some of the most destructive men, some of the most horrible relationships, and then go out of their way to counsel women to stay in them when they're complaining, because apparently either men are few, or this woman is just, you know, taking things out of context. She is just overreacting or whatever. I personally, before I gave my life to Jesus Christ, got counseled I don't know how many times by how many women that knew that I was in a terrible relationship to stick around because where am I gonna find another dude that's ABC like that? And also, everybody makes a mistake. Top of that, you guys have been together for so many years. Why under heaven would you want to mess that up? When I would break up with him, I would get counseled to get back together with him, asking me, but girl, are you sure you really want this to be over? When the reasons I broke up with him, I shared with these girls and they were so extreme, so tall. That is the kind of stuff that would shock any woman into basically getting out and her friends cheering her on. Things like a man stole money from me, took my credit card and used it over the weekend. Things like he cheated on me with a friend. Things like I, I could go on. Yeah, and then you get counseled to stick around in that because everybody makes mistakes. Well, the situation graduated too. He is not that bad, despite the fact that he did witchcraft on you. Even though he's a megalomaniacal creep that's trying to control you, using sorcery for the rest of your life so that you don't have your own sense of autonomy. He's not that bad, plus men of you, and gotta where you're older. So I mean, really just take whatever it is that comes your way. Women trying to throw me to a man. That is ungodly, and not only that, is also using sorcery while I am a Christian. Meaning that there will be ever this spiritual war in the house that could get me murdered, thoroughly murdered by a man with no self-control because he is a sorcerer and women are trying to push me to him. Jealousy.